When it comes to background removers, there's actually quite a lot out there now. Some are better than others, and some are not that great at all. Now this one just here, this is by Photo Room, and it's pretty great. Now usually, one of my favourites is Clip Drop, but unless you pay for Clip Drop, then you're limited to what you can do. I believe you can only use Clip Drop 10 times per day. But if we come over to Photo Room and scroll all the way down to the bottom, just here, we can see, is this background remover tool free? Yes, the background remover tool from Photo Room is completely free to use. You can upload your images and remove their backgrounds without any cost or limitations. So the great thing about this one then is that we can use this an unlimited amount of times. And if we take a look at this image, it actually does a pretty good job. So this is before and this is after. And as you can see, again, it's actually done a pretty good job. Now, is it as good as Clip Drop? No, it's not. But this is just a free alternative to Clip Drop. Now, if you want to check this out, then I will link this down in the description. You can get here by going to photoroom.com forward slash tools forward slash background remover. Now, quick side note, if you like using Ideogram, then you may want to check out my Ideo Mastery course. Now, this is currently $34.99, but come this Friday, the price will be increasing to $49.99, and then next Friday, this won't be available to purchase. So if you want to come through and check this out, then I will link it down in the description. Now, I have an example here, and then I'm going to show you an example of actually using this background remover as well. But if we take a look at this image, we can check it out before, and then we can click after to see what this looks like. And as you can see, it's actually done a pretty good job. Now, this background remover does work best with simple images. And as we can see, this is a simple image as well. Now, one thing I do like about this tool is that we can also change the background color on the fly. So this is transparent. We can change it to white. We can change it to black. Black's not going to look good, obviously, because I have the black writing. But we can do a blue, pink, yellow, or we can even just choose the hex code of the color that we want to use. But nonetheless, I thought that was pretty cool. And I just wanted to show you this example. Now, if we come over to here, what we're going to do is just take an image. We're going to drop it in. And then we're just going to give it a few seconds, just like that. And as you can see, it works pretty quick. Again, we can check out the before and we can check out the after. Then if we want to download this, we can simply click on download. We can only choose the standard resolution if we are using this for free, but all we have to do is click download and then look, that's nice and downloaded. Now, one thing to note as well, because we can only get the standard resolution, you're going to want to upscale your images after you've removed the background. So let's say you've created something in Ideogram Mid Journey, or whichever AI text to image tool that you use. Once you've created it, then come over to Photo Room, remove the background, then you can go to your favorite upscaler. I like Big JPEG, this is my favorite. Then we can drop that in, click on Start, and then upscale this way. So again, don't go and upscale your images first, then remove them, because we're not going to get a high enough resolution on this background remover. But nonetheless, I just wanted to share this with you, and this is called Photo Room. Now, if we come back over to here and scroll down to round about here, we can see they actually have lots of different tools as well. So if we click on See Tools, we're going to see what they are. They have the AI background remover, which I just shared with you, AI backgrounds, AI retouch, expand ai images shadows as well blur background white background and as you can see so many other great tools and again if you want to come through and check this out i will link this down in the description 
Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.